Failure. You're a Sinnoh graduate, 23 years in the military. So here should be an interesting answer to this question. How would you have advised the president on the withdrawal of Iraq and Afghanistan? Sure. Yes, H. I want to, you know, Nikki Trawick is back there. Her, her husband served. We served in, uh, in Hawaii. I just, I just mentioned that because it's great to see uh, folks here. Yeah, I'll tell you, the Afghanistan issue is one that I, I volunteered for Afghanistan. Um, I believe in that mission. Um, I believe Bin Laden when he said that he planned the mission from, uh, from Afghanistan, and we had no choice but to go in. Now, the issue comes down to, to the issue of the occupation and uh, decisions, decisions that were made. One of the things we've got to be very careful about is the image we project, project around the world. Uh, George Washington put it best in that if you want peace, prepare for war. What he meant was, is the issue of strength. If you make the decision to do something, if you pull the trigger, then you don't do things halfway. But we went in Afghanistan initially, quite frankly, we went in full force and we pushed the Taliban out. And that's what we needed to do. It breaks my heart right now to look and see Ramadi and Fallujah, places that we had our young people spill their blood for, taken over by the Islamic government of Iraq and Levant, which, by the way, is a transnational al-Qaeda-backed group that's hooked up with rebels in Syria. We need people in Congress that understand their duties over the military and national defense because the decision-making and the way the president went about handling Iraq and Afghanistan and where he's handling right now are, are not wise. You read Bill Gates' book right now and you look at the, the shameful conduct of the way they treated the top military officers trying to give good advice on how to handle Iraq and Afghanistan. And this goes beyond someone's decision whether or not to go in. It, the issue is, is how you handle yourself. And Barack Obama has done it terribly. And we need more folks within Congress that understand the military and national defense and stand up to them and start doing their duty with the, uh, with the military. Thank you, Bill.